the Harlem that I grew up in, it was a lot about fighting. <laughs> Even if you didn't want to fight, you had to fight. You know what I mean? It was just the area and the community. It was a poor area, but at the same time, we didn't live a poor life. You know, uh, we weren't poor-minded in the sense where we were happy. We enjoyed our community. And now it's just not old Harlem anymore. Now you can ask a 35-year-old French woman, where you from? And she'll say, she's from Harlem. I'm like, really? Because I didn't see you a couple years ago. Things that was a, really a part of our culture has been stripped from us in a sense to bring in others so they can live, I guess, comfortable. Growing up, it was a lot of love in a black community, and there was a lot of positivity throughout the negativity. Of course, there was a lot of shooting, killing, beating up, this, that, and gang, 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 a whole bunch of other stuff there. Yes, that was there. But in my upbringing, there was also a lot of positivity. My seventh grade year, they turned our school, which was really known for basketball, to performing arts school. Hired a whole bunch of artists to come in and teach. They wanted us to take some type of arts elective. Vocals, drawing, painting, acting, band, whatever. And we didn't want to do anything. After fighting in this classroom every day, sixth period, they hired a tap dancer. This tap dancer named Omar Edwards. He was the perfect cure for the program in a sense because he was just as hood where he understood us and how to deal with us. What really grabbed my attention about the dance was the fact that, that it was a masculine dance, the way he was presenting it at least. Tap dancing wasn't popular, wasn't trending. Putting on a pair of tap shoes, you're probably going to get clowned off the bat. So in order to do this with confidence and do it period, whoever's presenting it has to come correct. Tap dancing, it definitely didn't start with my generation. It's a very long history. Even back into slavery, when we called it buck dancing and doing the cakewalk and progressing into a serious African-American tradition. When I put on my shoes, although it's an opportunity for me to self-express, at the same time, it's me getting in touch with those that came before me. Tap dancing is both musical and visual. As a tap dancer, you should be able to present yourself as a soloist horn player or a soloist bass player or a soloist musician because we are musicians just with our feet.